Alrighty guys, welcome to part 3A of my weather wheel restoration update. And this part, in the first phase of this part, we are going to be removing the screws here that secure the wire clips. So that way we can, you know, we can just take everything off, you know, you know, just disconnect my wires, you know, and then rewire, rewire everything temporarily. So anyway, here we go guys. Alright. Alright. Alright, so you guys can see here that first the first screw came out like a charm. Okay. Alright. So guys, that worked out pretty well to start. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to gently pry the clip. So you guys can see, just like that, it comes right off. So that was pretty easy to get us started there. So now as you guys can see here, we're going to go ahead and start disconnecting our wires. So bring you, I'll put you guys right here so that way you can see well, actually, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you right here. That way you can uh, that way you guys can check this out. So, guys, the unit is not plugged in. All right, so it's completely safe because it's unplugged. So, hey, anyway, guys, we're gonna take my screwdriver here, and I'm gonna gently push on that terminal there to remove it. Well, to um, undo the spade lug. Alright, came off like a charm. Alright. That one's being a little toughy. There we go. So that came right off like a charm. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, do the same on the black one here. Now note guys, I'm not touching the capacitor terminals. I'm only I'm only disconnecting my wires. That way we can continue restoration. Oh. Okay guys, that one came off. So yeah, guys, we're going to have to clean our connectors here. So guys, I'm, I'm going to pause you for just a minute because uh, I'm going to have to pull the run capacitor off so we can, uh, I'm going to have to take the capacitor off so we can disconnect it. All right, so guys, that solved the problem. We're going to go ahead and bring our run capacitor out here. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this bracket back a little bit. All right, so you guys can see we got our run capacitor off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the wire here. All right. All right, so there's our run capacitor there. So we're gonna just set it off to the side for now. And so yeah, with the compressor is disconnected, so we're gonna go ahead here and um, continue to disconnect some wires here, so we can, um, and then we'll move on to phase B, which is where we're going to drill. We're gonna drill the third bolt out. Right. Set you guys back down there, where you can see it better. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our. Uh, switch here and thermostat so guys just so you guys are aware I'm gonna leave the uh, we're gonna leave our power cord connected but we're not gonna plug it in all right guys so we're gonna use the same method we did before with our flathead screwdriver which is right here All right. 
I don't know if you guys saw that, but we just disconnected that wire there. All right, guys. So we're uh, so just so you guys know, this is our this is our wire that runs from the bottom terminal on the thermostat to the um, top terminal on the uh, well, no, not the top terminal on the middle terminal. Well, actually, no, guys, I was right the first time. So this wire right here runs from the top of the terminal on the top terminal on the switch. It's this one right here, and it runs to the bottom terminal on the thermostat. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our wire right there for now because we know which wire that is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and disconnect our thermostat here. So it came off like a charm. Okay, so now guys we're going to... So now what we're going to do is we're just going to pull our... Uh, CS so yes, guys, we're going to be pulling our... Well, not pulling technically, but we're going to disconnect our power cord for now. All right. So guys, what we're going to do here is um now that we've got all now that we've got our uh, everything disconnected here. Um what we're going to do now is we're going to bring these guys out. So so we're gonna put these guys right here for now, and we're gonna bring our bring our power cord wires down here. So we're gonna put that like that for now. So, all right. Well, we've got uh we got everything disconnected here. The run capacitor is out, and um, we are ready to drill out the third bolt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first part here um, where we went ahead and disconnected our wires. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to part two or, um, you know, part 3B, which is going to be drilling the third bolt out. And part 3C will be pulling out the fan. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you on part 3B.